Hello everyone. Uh, this is one question we had posted in our Facebook page. And those of you who do not know about this, we have a Facebook page where we regularly post questions from the different section of PT that you can practice. And we often post explanations, explanation videos about them on Facebook or on YouTube. So if you have or not already liked and subscribed to our page, you can do that so that you can get regular updates about PT and practice some questions as well. So let's just start the discussion of this question. So you can see this is a read up hack up question which comes in reading section. You might get two to three ups in these questions and they can be quite confusing in the test. In order to solve these questions, you have to learn about two different things. The first is called the logical continuity and the second is called grammatical continuity. Now there are around 12 different tips and tricks that we apply to solve read up hack up questions. And I cannot cover all of them in one short video like this. But if you're interested, you can keep watching on YouTube for the upcoming updates about these videos or if you are in us in need then you can sign up to our online course where you can find all this information organized for you along with some practice questions based on past exams as well as around 16 mock tests all right so let's just start the discussion here in order to do these questions first thing is you need to find the first sentence but in my case what i do is i start by eliminating the sentences which cannot be first sentence for example i can clearly see that this one here which says he cannot be the first sentence because I do not know yet he means who. Similarly, I also know that this one cannot be the first sentence because it's referring to a specific group of women, so it cannot be the first sentence. This one says no link was found between, which is the result, and we know that results usually come at the end. Now, we have only two sentences left. One is B, another one is C. So if you look at B, it says Dr. Byron has long held that there is a link between diet and acne. And C says, Professor Fitzgerald and his team studied more than 47,000 women. Now, I told you at the beginning of this video that you have to know about the logical continuity and grammatical continuity. The logical continuity depends on the type of text you are dealing with, which means that in different types of text, information is organized in different ways. This one is a research, and in case of research, usually we organize the information in the order of hypothesis, which you can consider a belief of the researcher, then then what they do is they start the study. Once they have the hypothesis, they set up, they start the study, and that study usually is done in this way. So you first do the experiment or you have the methodology, and after that you find the results. So it's not that difficult to understand. It's quite easy to see how the research is done. You have something in mind, then you want to study about that. For that, you Think about a particular way you want to study that, you want to do the experiment, and at the end of the experiment, you get the result. If that is the case, we can clearly see that B is talking about the belief and C is talking about the study, which tells us that B must come before C. And based on all the discussion we have had so far, we can see that B is the first sentence because it tells us the belief. So Dr. Byron has long held that there is a link between diet and acne. This one says, he convinced Professor Fitzgerald, so this he must be Dr. Byron. So this is related to A, so this makes it the second sentence. Remember, so far we have not started this study. We are still talking about the belief phase, or we are still in the hypothesis phase. Now, after these two stages, what happened? The study started. How did it start? It started with 40, 47,000 women, right? And if you look at E, it says the woman means which woman? This 47,000 women. So this would be the fourth sentence. You can also see that sentence E gives us more information about sentence C. And D is the result, which is the fifth sentence. So you can see that this whole paragraph is actually organized in this manner. So first there is hypothesis, then a study, which was done by using a particular method, and then they got the result. A few grammatical clues here, which might help you in other questions. Here, if you see two sentences containing same type of word, like woman, woman, most likely they'll be together. And remember, the woman means a specific group of women, which means the sentence containing the woman must come after a sentence containing just woman. Which means that in future, if you see two sentences containing pen, pen, you know they will be together. But the one which says the pen must contain, must come after the sentence which just contains pen. So there are 12 different tricks like this to keep in mind while doing these questions, which will help you to answer these questions quickly. So this is a matter of accuracy and speed, 
So you need to have both. So first in the class or through the lessons, you develop the concept which help you to understand these things. And then you use the tricks to quickly solve them. I hope this was helpful for you. If you need more information about our classes, just get in touch and good luck for your test. Thank you.